Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. My name is Ken Tracy, and this is Coffee with Ken. It is Saturday morning, it's October 29th, it's 3.49 (laughs) a.m. Happy Saturday. This is a little show I have been doing for uh, quite some time. It is a show that started about three and a half years ago. It's a show that started on a uh, social media platform. It's a show I started doing every Saturday uh, live. uh, Because I realized talking about my stuff made me feel better. And for some reason, I started talking about it live on uh, uh, that other social media platform. And people started watching and enjoying and feeling good and finding some inspiration to know that they weren't alone. Uh, That they, you know, everyone that goes through their lives faces challenges and faces struggles and faces hard times and good times and bad times. Uh, And just to have this bald, tall guy... uh, (laughs) Talking to him every Saturday morning, I think, gave him some hope and some belief and some feeling of goodness or contentment, again, that they weren't alone, because I think that's the hardest thing a lot of us face in life is the quiet times when we are alone and we are forced to look within or uh, wonder or ponder or consider, (laughs) and all those things are hard. But anyway... For those that have been watching a while, you also know it's a show about me uh, sharing my love of coffee. And with that in mind, I got a nice hot cup of coffee in front of me. And I'm so excited to take my first sip at this silly early time on a Saturday morning. (laughs) I hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers. the pumpkin spice. Mm. I think next time I go to the store, I'm going to get a few different bags, a few different flavors, maybe like a French vanilla, another pumpkin spice. uh, I don't know (laughs) what other sort of flavors there are for coffee, just to mix it up so I can surprise you a little bit. And surprise my taste buds a little bit as well. I'm starting to, I think, maybe take the pumpkin spice for granted. This is becoming just coffee to me. This is what I expect coffee to taste like. But this isn't really normal coffee. (laughs) This is seasonal and it's delicious. Mm. Anyway, (laughs) how are you guys doing? How are you feeling? How'd you sleep? I slept fairly well. I woke, I went to bed again. I, I, I think I'm going to have to, I don't know. I talk about accepting and rolling with things and rolling with life and accepting uh, the flow that is life. And for some reason, my flow in life has me going to bed earlier and earlier every day and waking up earlier and earlier every morning. You know, I, I don't know if I made it to nine o'clock. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Uh, And I woke up at, you know, just a little after two this morning. I laid in bed. I was watching a documentary. I tried to fall back asleep, listen to some Buddhist monk talk for a little while. And uh, just thought, I think uh, I would be best served to just get up and get started and go through my morning routine and let Holly out and feed her and water and do my yoga and get my coffee ready and brush my teeth. And so that's what I've done. Mm. Uh, I think it's important to realize that nobody in life is perfect. Um, I have a lot of people that watch this show and probably have varying opinions of me. And, you know, some think I'm whatever, got it all figured out. And some people think I don't have the first clue. Whatever your opinion is, that's okay. But I uh, was watching a video and it was uh, interesting and it was open and honest. Uh, It was a hypnotist that I follow on uh, TikTok and she does a lot of uh, little quick hypnosis videos and I find a lot of goodness in them and a lot of uh, value in them for me because they always seem to get me relaxed and just the way she talks and stuff like that helps me uh, often relax and drift off to sleep when I want to take a nap or something. And uh, 
Uh, but she was being open and honest and she wasn't being this powerful hypnotist that she usually is. She was talking about her struggles and that she was having a hard day and that work sometimes gets her down and that she absorbs a lot of her clients' problems. And uh, again, just being open and honest and talking about uh, her struggles. And I think, um, you know, I try to be as open and as honest as I can on this. Uh, but again, I want you to know nobody's perfect. Uh, nobody's got it all figured out. You know, I watch some coaches and, you know, I don't connect, honestly, with the coaches that seem to act like they have it all figured out, that are always the happiest and and always, you know, screaming that happiness is a choice and, you know, that everything's awesome and perfect. And, uh, you know, because sometimes we face struggles and sometimes we face challenges and sometimes we make decisions that have long term uh impacts on our lives. And even if those decisions or choices were made with all the best intent in the world, there can still be long-term consequences. And sometimes, <laughs> you know, no matter how much you smile, no matter how many hands you shake, how many hugs you give and how much love you spread and joy, um, you still don't have all the answers and you still are going, what the heck am I going to do now? <laughs> and sometimes I feel that way. And I think that's probably the reason a lot of uh, us find our way to spirituality, whether it's, you know, whatever religion you choose. Uh, but I know I've been going to a, you know, a, a Christian church uh, this year, every Sunday, pretty much. And I think, A, it feels good to be in a community of positive people working towards a, their betterment or their, their spirituality. And... Um, it also feels good to, again, not feel like you're alone, feel there's a higher power and I, you know, whatever you believe is fine. Uh, but to believe that there is a, some purpose or some meaning or some higher power or some reason that we go through the challenges, I think, uh, I know gives me a lot of comfort and, uh, you know, when I'm, when I'm feeling lost or confused, <laughs> I don't know if this made any sense to you or if this was any value at all, but it always feels good for me to share my cup of coffee with you on a morning, even at a crazy early hour on a Saturday. I get stuff off my chest. It gives me peace for some reason. And after I edit these videos and spread them out on various social media platforms, I'm usually able, if Holly lets me, she's itching her ear over there. Uh, to drift off to back to sleep for an hour or two. And it always feels so, so good to drift off and let the tension from my body, you know, come out and just feel that deep relaxation. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day today. I hope you're feeling good. I hope uh, you're excited about the day. I got three or four hours of darkness ahead of me before my day really gets going. Uh, but I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Saturday. I hope you're Loving yourself. I hope you are forgiving yourself. And I, as always, I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.